Good evening, fellow cinephiles and doppelgangers. Looking to quantify and qualify your movie-going experience, this is Uncle Bob Soup's channel coming at you hot and heavy, a.k.a. Bruce Pie, a.k.a. Big Mist. Gonna do a little review of an independent auteur filmmaker's world premiere last night of Runaways, the movie Motion Picture 2, a drama, a family drama, a romantic drama, a depressing but yet transcendent blue movie about heartache and loss and struggle within and without. Yes, The Runaways movie motion picture two uh the drama story of uh officer bob and marianne will they or won't they it uh oh uh, an owen shelton production film directorial his fourth outing a sequel to the original movie runaways one which i plan on doing a review of, not to be mistaken for the 2010 Kirsten, Kristen Stewart gem about Joan Jett and the formation of the late 70s, early 80s rock band, The Runaways, not to be mistaken for that, but uh, the independent Runaways movie too. Where in the world is Mason? Is he working in a jar factory. Where did this runaway hooligan go? Or what happened to him, Mason? Perhaps these will be th things to be uh, f uh, flushed out in future if it becomes a trilogy. Also, I'd like to see more of Jimmy, played by Dean Shelton and, uh, and Big Mist. I'd like to see, or maybe, you know, maybe... Uh, Spin-off movie with Mason and Jimmy and Big Mist. More of a pivotal role. But who knows what direction Owen will take these films. It, I, I like, I can, I made me think of uh, um, Jim Jarmusch, director of Permanent Vacation and Stranger Than Paradise. Uh, the independent filmmaker. Or Robert Altman, director of Nashville and A Prairie Home Companion. Or even Peter Bug. Bogdanovich, director of the Last Picture Show, in a sort of free-flowing dialogue and slice of life, lifery, particularly Jim Jarmusch and uh, Stranger Than Paradise, black and white, makes you think. But it really came well together. Uh, really enjoyed watching um, these characters and uh, the dialogue and the drama, what, how things would unfold, and, and really. The um the, the last 10, 15 minutes of it really uh pulled at at my drama heartstrings and it really made me feel the drama of life, loss and lost love and illusions being punctured and sapped of all their on truth, all their unreal hopes, false hopes, dashed hopes. Um, being uh, at the cost of learning the truth and seeing things as they are, as fun and as frolicking as that uh, fictitious way of viewing things was. Marianne is heartbroken. Uh, she probably projected onto Uncle Officer Bob things that weren't really there, but slowly disillusionment sets in. So yeah, I'm going to give it a 9.5 on the bobble meter. Perhaps I am biased. It would be a thrill to see this on the big screen at the local normal theater cineplex. Cinephiles. I'm going to leave it at that. Look forward to seeing you at the movie theater. And I look forward to my future movie reviews. Forthcoming. Maybe I'll take a look at Breakthrough. Saw that this past week. The faith-based, spiritual, miraculous up uh, movie you've been waiting for. Pure flicks, but not pure flicks. Bye-bye.